Alright, what's up everyone, Bowfinder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more Akelanga Flora 2. This video was brought to you by the Patreon, because YouTube is completely f- <gasps> Without it, I wouldn't be making videos anymore due to YouTube's useless monetization policies. So if you do decide to support, just know that you're keeping this channel alive. And for that, I thank you very much. But yeah, I'm gonna be playing today on Containment Station with my sharpshooter. And as the title would suggest, yep, we're gonna be playing today with bows only. But yeah, I meant the sharpshooter perk by itself, yep, this perk is extremely freaking good. Now, the only drawback of the sharpshooter is that on public matches, yep, it's just a head or mess pretty much, because you don't know what teammates you're gonna be getting. I mean, they could just, like, respect you and just let you be on your lane. But, I mean, for the most part, yep, they're just gonna ruin your day and you're not just gonna be killing anything for the most part. Oh, pa. But yeah, I haven't been playing a lot of Killing Floor recently, but I mean, it shouldn't be like that hard to get right back into it, right? Okay, that's already just a bunch of them, but I mean, I do have these to save my freak ass. Okay, there's like a bunch of them here. But I mean, 9mm that has a rapid mode. Yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, right, here's. I can just like crouch and just like one shot kill. Okay, then why are you here, fam? Okay, she's gonna have to freeze then. Because. Can't be trusted, okay, easy clap, easy clap. Okay, more right here is just crouching, they're pretty much dead. Oh, can I boy him? Kind of. Okay, time for a little bit of a heal, and then just go directly into the heat of action. Or maybe not, because the demo is just like stealing my kill. Okay, bloat off with your puny head, easy clap on the cyst. Oh, and the trader's right here, how convenient. But yeah, since I'm gonna be using the crossbow here, yep, I'm just gonna change the skill from rack em up to tactical reload. Cause I mean, the crossbow for me personally, it's pretty awkward with rack em up. Now, I do realize I'm missing like a lot of, how should I say, damage? Like 50% less damage to be exact. But I mean, it doesn't really matter if I can just shoot like an idiot. Well then, skip trader and let's see what we can uh, possibly do. I mean, to be fair, I'm first on kill. But yeah, I mean, a lot of people don't like the sharpshooter perk because it requires, you know, a lot of accuracy to be, like, that effective with them. But I mean, once you get, like, a lot of hours in the game and you just understand Zeds and what their movement is and where they spawn from, yeah, the sharpshooter and gunslinger, yeah, those perks are one of the best. Now, like I said, the only drawback is teammates, because they can literally screw you over royally. Okay, stalkers, I swear to God, I mean, I'm just gonna be, like, shooting... On the floor, because I don't want to go, like, that far to re-pick up me arrows. I mean, I'm just gonna shoot you, because you're gonna be annoying. But yeah, I do have six freeze nades. Wait, did I just headshot the guy behind him? Probably. Okay, that lagged. That means I actually got a headshot on ya boy, Siren. This is hell nerd. Okay, they're just double-checking, because you never know. So yeah, my two teammates are on the other side, which is quite alright. So I can just stay here and have my merry way with the Zeds, and he's just doing random movements. And the Spooder doesn't like him. Wait, what? Did I kill him? Because I didn't see another one. Okay, doesn't matter, because I can still shoot. Okay, Stalkers, don't think I don't see our E-Dars on this map. Actually annoying. But can I shoot him? Okay, that's Oosk. But I mean, I can just, like, easily avoid him. But, I mean, E-Dars are a whole different... Thing of annoyance. And he's still there. Oh my god, man. Yeah, there we go. Poor easy bloat. Dude, I just like killing bloats, because their head gets stunned once it comes off. I'm not sure why it's that cool, but... I like it. Okay, Edar, I swear, just go away. Okay, time to freeze. Maybe freeze you. And maybe freeze you, because I do need some arrows, my dudes. Okay, can you stop with your shna... Shooting him behind is not good. And I'm gonna get trapped off, of course, obviously. But yeah, the only drawback of the sharpshooter is, yep, you do have to go for your arrows. And yep, if a trapper is right there, yeah, that could be pretty bad. But I mean, to be fair, I'm gonna have two arrows. One's going to be this thing, and the other one is going to be a compound bow. And yep, this is what I mean about the crossbow. You can just go and pick up your arrows. And when you get to the trader, yep, the reload's gonna be like... Below 100, I do believe. But yeah, I still do believe this weapon is underrated as hell. I mean, look at this. Only 11 to reload. Okay, I'm gonna buy the compound bow, but... What did he give me? Oh, he gave me dodge. Nice. Okay, get nades, get armor, and I'm just gonna reload this thing a little bit. Dude, I just love this camo. 
It's actually nice. But yeah, I know I've been putting out a lot of, you know, compound gameplay on the channel, but I mean, this weapon is pretty satisfying. Oops, I forgot to change to rack him up. Oh, this is gonna be sad, because I mean... Yeah, if you're gonna be playing with the compound bow, ju just use rack him up. But I mean, I forgot, because I was thinking about something else, I do believe. Opa. Dude, I can just, like, trigger slow motion by just, like, headshotting and not even, you know, killing at the same time. Yeah, boy. Oh, double the right here kills. Well, don't mind if I do. Okay, stupid stalkers, man. Okay, you know what? I'm actually gonna do this whole video without rack him up. Because, I mean, I don't usually follow the meta that much. I mean, I do follow the meta, like, sometimes, because if the team is really freaking bad... Yep, meta is the only thing to save them. But, I mean, sometimes not even the meta stuff can save teammates, because, I mean... Yeah, per clawing maps and killing floor, and when once those players actually get to... How should I say, hell on earth, yep, it's pretty sad, honestly. Opa. Yeah, boy? God, but, I mean, this stupid-ass gore just, like, went on my head. Not sure how that happened, but, I mean, there he was. Okay, stalkers, come on. No! Okay, he just like shifted to one side. And that meant I couldn't kill it. Is that another stalker? Dude, I'm just like seeing things honestly. I question myself, is that a stalker or not? But there's like actually nothing there. And that's what happens when you play too much of your boy killing floor. Okay, spooders, I swear, just get frozen and destroyed and I only got the compound bow now, which is not ideal. Because I don't have like that many arrows for it. Boy! Okay, can you just go away? Thanks. Boy. Okay, tactical reload is not actually all that have bad on it. I mean, fair enough, it doesn't make that much of a difference to reload. I mean, it does a little bit. Just nothing too dra- Yeah, thanks. You are actually showing me where that stalker was. And yeah, boy. Is. So yeah, not actually gonna go for rack em up and let's see how that is gonna pan out. But yeah, if I do run the compound bow, I don't go for the crossbow, but I mean since this video is bow only, I'm just gonna be using both the bows. Both the bows. Okay, that kind of sounds good. Both the bows. Oh, and my man just fixing the door. Yeah, thanks. And he just welded it before I could get to the trailer. Well then, ought to fail and let's just upgrade my freaking crossbow and maybe the 9mm. Okay, now I should be good to go on my lane. But yeah, if I get like a screwy screw, I can just like stun them or alternatively I can freeze them. But if I get like some raging flesh bones, yep, killing them from afar is the only viable choice. I mean, to be fair, if I had rack them up, it would be a lot easier, but I don't. Okay, flesh bones, my lane, their lane, where are you gonna come from? Okay, I see Osk. One shot headshot minutes. Oh, fuel tank time. Easy. But yeah, like I said, if you have a lot of hours in this game, yep, you should be pretty good with your gunslingers and sharpshooters. Okay, stalkers, come on. Yep, and they just keep on coming, and little things and teammates are the only things for the sharpshooter to not be viable. Boy. I mean, usually you just have like some trash killers on your lane. Opa. But I really like a three shot for this thing. I mean, I should probably crouch here to make it a two-shot. Okay, they just keep on coming. And a spooder. Alright, man. Alright, man. Boy. Okay, spider, you get killed over there because I don't want any toxin in my face. Dude, why is this so satisfying? I mean, to be fair, if I didn't, you know, create content for the game, I probably wouldn't bother with the compound bow. If I was just, like, a casual player for this game. But, I mean, since I create videos and stuff, I just, like, bought it for the sake of content. And I just, like, ended up liking it a lot. Okay, Klotz, I swear, just stop coming. I hate ya. I mean, that was, like, a little bit harsh. YouTube, please don't demonetize. That is a Idar. But, I mean, if I crouch and shoot his score, we should be good to go. Dude, I, I, when I aim, I just... Just miss. But when I don't, I just, like, catch on them. I mean, how is that even a possibility? Boy. Okay, don't have, like, that much of the crossbow anymore, so I'm just gonna switch to a boy trusty compound bow. How didn't you... Okay, I think I just missed him. My bad. Boy. Let's see that stalker right in front. And, yeah, boy. Okay, I was up hoping for a headshot, but didn't happen. Boy. Or no? Boy? Wait, can I headshot something? Okay, that was, like, far from a headshot. Okay, just gonna freeze you for dramatic effect. 
Yeah, boy. Yeah, and this was it. Easy. Okay, should I use Rackham up for the boss? Because for bosses, yeah, Rackham up is going to be very, very useful. I mean, if it's gonna be Hans, he's just gonna be like dodging my attacks, like anyway. And if it's gonna be the Page Kirkip, my man, she's gonna get frozen and most likely destroyed. Okay, I said I'm not gonna use Rackham up, so I'm not gonna use Rackham up. But yeah, you might be asking, put Funder, what do you think about the compound bow? Because it's been out for a while now. And I mean, it's safe to say, yeah, this thing is. I mean, it's not gonna replace the railgun, but it's definitely a cool alternative. Because, I mean, with the railgun, when you shoot, you actually lose the bullet. But with this thing, if you shoot, you can actually pick it up. I mean, depends. Oh, abomination. Dude, should I just, like, freeze him? Tell me he's just gonna, like, spawn, like, up here, like, anyway, so... I mean, let's see. Go up. Like, how many things do you actually need to get frozen, fam? Um... A lot, apparently. Oh, he just got stepped on. Oh, red man. Oh, red man. I mean, I'm just gonna, like, shoot him, because can't be bought. Oh, my man just, like, jumping on him. Yep, and that's the abomination. Pretty, pretty pointless, quote-unquote, boss. Wait, can I just freeze him now? Nope, can't freeze him, because my man's doing a ton of animations. Oh, my God, support. I mean, he's just, like, in the heat of action. Can't... Okay, never mind. Man actually died to the abomination. Because that apparently happens, right? As you can completely see. Okay, can I freeze him though? Dude, I don't know how many freeze things he actually takes. I mean, probably a lot, right? Okay, now we're just gonna have to run a little bit away because this is gonna get hectic because of the Zeds. But I mean, if we just kill the Zeds, we should be theoretically fine. Okay, he just like went the opposite direction, that's not good, but I mean, I'm just gonna meet him halfway. Let's see without armor. Oh, poor abomination. I mean, for nothing, he got a kill. So he should be happy about that one. Dude, can I just like kill... Wait, is there like even abomination spawns? Because I can't really see much. I'm just like, oh, he's actually stunned. Oh my god, abomination, man. I mean, someone actually Bruh. said, oh, but put Funder with the sharpshooter, it's actually bad, because abomination spawns get to you. GG. But, I mean, not a single abomination actually came to me, so... I mean, maybe, like, one. But I killed him. So, yeah, this was pretty much it for Killing Floor Bow only, and hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.